Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where a guy gets arrested for not giving away his computer for free to a choosing beggar. I am accepting applications for a baby daddy 2.0. I need a daughter before everyone starts stealing the name I've had picked out for years. The stipulations are as follows. Our first date has to be on a Tuesday because I want the restaurant to be fairly empty and also because I just really like Tuesdays. You have to pick me up from my house and come to the door like a freaking gentleman. Bring Johnny Walker, not flowers. Okay, flowers too. Red roses. STD test must be completed upon hire. I want an authentic Italian restaurant. If you didn't know that a bottle of wine at dinner is a given with the above rule, now you do. I will spontaneously come up with some crazy after-dinner adventure because that's what always happens, so just go with it. I don't know why I'm like this either. Then, back to my place for the creation of the world's cutest little girl. Promptly preceding the deed, don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you. A.K.A. leave. A.K.A. our first date is our last. You will then cease to exist unless I fall madly in love with you, which is highly unlikely. There's one very obvious reason why this lady isn't just using a sperm bank. Because if you go with a sperm donor, you can't immediately hit up that guy with child support for the next 18 years. On this next post, OP makes and sells hand crochet dolls. $25 is too much. I want to give it to my dog. How sweet. I'm sorry, I still can't go any lower. Are you kidding? $25 is way too much for a dog toy. It's not a dog toy, and it's handmade. I can get any dog toy for a few bucks. You're insane. Go get some, then. You're an effing jerk. You're gonna do this to a rescue dog. And now you're yelling at a customer. I'm gonna post about you. Oh, well, don't worry, lady. I'm also gonna post about you. <laughs> and I have a sneaking suspicion that I have slightly more reach than you do. Seeking someone to PayPal me $80.55. Can someone help me get this toddler bed for my daughter? She doesn't like her pack and play anymore and refuses to sleep in it. Edit, I refuse to get a used one. And I refuse to go to Goodwill or any of those secondhand stores. Ugh. I love how this woman is too snobby to go to a secondhand store, but not too snobby to beg online for money. Are you still selling that snowboard? Yes sir, 280 bucks plus shipping. It comes with bindings and a brand new grain kit. I only have $85. It's for my son this Christmas. Can you make me a deal? Uh, which kid are you getting this for? The oldest kid on your profile couldn't be older than 11. He's actually 13 and he's been really interested in snowboarding for the past two years now, angry emoji. I can pay you $85 if you can ship it. Well, excuse me for assuming. Regardless, he is far too small for the board, 167 centimeters. The board is probably as tall as him. That's why I advertised it as a board for a large adult. The board was bought to my specifications. I'm six foot four and a hundred kilograms. He can grow into it. He's got big genes. Please, I need this deal. I can barely afford rent and I need to bring something good home for Christmas. If you sell it to me for $85, I'll shout you out. Okay, so I hope your boy grows big and strong, but this board is not the board for him. I have the lingering feeling you're just trying to buy my board at a ridiculously cheap price so you can turn around and flip it. Dude, you can't even ride it. All I have is 85. I doubt anyone else wants to buy your sucky board. We both know that a quick Google search has my board and bindings retail at a minimum of 700 bucks. I was trying to cut you a deal with 280 because you bought things from me before. Now you're just being kind of a butthole. So unless you have 500 bucks plus shipping, don't try and buy a dang thing from me again. Aw, oh, did I hurt your feelings, noodle bones? I'll give you $150. Take it or leave it. I'll leave it. Dude, don't be an effing dick. It's not like you're going to ride it again. You're right, I'm being a dick. So, will you sell it to me for $150? No, I'm being a dick, and the board costs 500 bucks. Then, OP posts an update. The dude tries again, disguised as some random Instagram girl's account. Hey, I saw you had that $167 board for sale. Is it still available? Do you think I could get it before Christmas? 
Hello, the board's still for sale. I can do 425 plus shipping if you're interested. Do you think we can work out a deal? I really want to get it for my boyfriend, but I just don't have that much. What's your budget looking like? I'm sure we can work something out. Can I pay you $50 now and then $100 when I get my next paycheck? Uh, what about the other $300? What do you mean? I'm selling the board for $425 plus shipping. You just said you could pay me $50 now and then $100 later. That still leaves roughly $300 unpaid. Can we just call it good, like a Christmas discount? I mean, I already kind of am. Well, I can't pay you $425. Then, I can't sell you my snowboard. Maybe you should check out one of the other ones on my profile. Some of them are a lot cheaper and I'd be more willing to cut you a deal. I don't know which ones are even worth buying. Well, I have an old Burton board that's the same size and I'd be willing to ship it to you if you can cover shipping. Like, for free? Yeah, you just have to pay shipping. Can you send a picture? One sec. IDK. It's in good condition, could use some wax, but otherwise it's good. All you have to do is cover shipping and I'll get it to you. I haven't ridden the thing in years. It just looks cheap and I don't really think he'll want to go down the mountain with it. So, you want a free snowboard? I don't know why you can't just give me the other one for 150. Oh lord, the other one costs 425 plus shipping. So, why'd you tell me I had to pay $500 in our last conversation? Jesus effing Christ, you've got to be effing kidding me. I'm not selling my board to the Disney voodoo prince. $200? No. Dude, you're seriously effing up my Christmas plans. Believe me, they were effed when you decided to bank Christmas on being able to flip a stranger's snowboard. You think you're so effing tough. Where you're from, cuh? Fresh off a motherf***'s butt and getting homesick. How about you? Of course you would be, effing bundle of sticks. There's no need for that language, brother. Can't wait until a real bear tears you up. Okay, calm down, Dwight Schrute. I would effing knock you out so quick. That's assuming you could reach past my chest. F off. I mean, you did text me. And I'll be texting the effing cops too. Got a call. They don't do texts. I can always give you the number if you forgot it. Go suck the AIDS out of some dude's rod. I'm into man butt, actually. Something about it just can't be compared. Have fun in hell, bundle of sticks. Oh, I'm sure you'll be around too. And then, after this moron finds the post on Reddit, he comes back with yet another account. Give me your Reddit account. Excuse me? You owe me compensation. You illegally recorded our conversation and posted it. Uh, I don't think you understand how this works. Well, I don't think you know how this works. Give me your account or there will be legal repercussions. It's defamation. I thought you were just a measly businessman, but now you surprise me with your superior legal knowledge. So answer me this. How is it defamation if I blurred any identifying information? Because you posted our private conversation to attack my character. Do you even understand how the law works? I mean, there were a couple of classes on it at the police academy. Of course you're an effing narc. Not much else an effing bundle of sticks jarhead is good for. Well, this is an interesting deviation from thank you for your service. Bootlicker. Did you really just come back again and try and insult me? I came back because you owe me compensation. You got over 15,000 likes on your post and I deserve any of the profit you made off them. Listen lad, those aren't any effing lowly likes. They're freaking Reddit updutes. And internet points don't turn into money, moron. Well, you got all those updutes from me and I deserve your account because you defamed my identity. Nobody knows your identity. There is no identifying information on the post and my accounts are anonymous. Your accounts won't be anonymous for long if you don't compensate me. Are you effing kidding me? How about I compensate you by breaking my other leg up your butt? I told you that you are ruining my Christmas, so I'll be sure to ruin yours. Think you're so effing tough. But you're too scared to tell any of your basement dwelling internet buddies your real name. And you're too much of an effing idiot to realize buying a car might jeopardize your financial stability, so you take your misfortune out on others. Can you even find your dick, lardy? I got a dick that'd make a horse tremble, and I like putting it in skinny white boys like you. 
always on some effing gay stuff. Come around my parts and you'd get your effing jaw broken. I could hold you down and put my balls in your mouth and I don't think you could do anything about it. I don't even know why I effing messaged you. Me either. It's great fun for me in Reddit though, so please continue. F you and all your bundle of stig buddies. I bet I could effing rock all of them if they ever left their mom's basement. You should have died in the effing sand, pig. Whoa, that was a little extreme, bud. It's getting late. We can pick this back up in the AM. Sleep easy, mate. All right, everyone, I am risking my YouTube channel to bring this content to you. We have a bona fide internet tough guy who isn't afraid to sue for defamation, so he's probably coming after this exact YouTube channel. Be sure to show your support by liking this video because I'm going to need to buy a lawyer with all those likes. Most people that know me would say I'm loyal, funny, well-read, respectful of women. Current goal. I'm looking to find a woman to spend the rest of my life with. No fatties. No super tall. No feminists. Must be blonde or brunette. Which are both misspelled, by the way. Can't have kids. Can't smoke. Can't do drugs. Must be intelligent. Must hold a convo. Good vocab. And can't want some 6 foot 11 Chad with a foot long dick and a six pack. My golden rule. Treat women with respect. Selling Minecraft and Forza Horizon 3 for 40 bucks. Darn, you can come pick up cash and you send pick up code. Huh? Can I have code for free? LMAO. It's almost Christmas, so... Please. Don't be a dick to people trying to sell stuff online, man. Nobody cares that it's close to Christmas. I'm not a charity. Ask your parent to transfer me money or pay full price at the store, bud. Selling 2012 MacBook Pro for 310 bucks. Can you sell it for $90? My kid wants a Mac, but I can't afford it. Please, I'm very poor. $300 is overpriced for a Mac from 20 years ago. This computer is 7 years old, and it sells for around $300 to $400 on eBay. My price is around the average. I'm sorry that you can't afford to buy my computer, but you'll have to find a different listing. Wow, you are the butthole. You made my daughter cry. I hope you're happy. You ruined Christmas. Okay, bye. Bye? Just bye? I demand you say sorry for making my daughter cry. Lol, no. Shut up, Adolf. Thank you for the free Reddit post. And thank you for the free YouTube views. Hey there, I heard you publish and produce board games. Yes, we do. What were you looking for? I have an idea for a board game that I think would be a huge hit. Can I send you some hand-drawn images? We're probably not a fit. We mostly do our own designs in-house, but I know some excellent designers who can help you. Why can't I just send them to you and you make them? It's just not our business model. We design, manufacture, and sell our own IP. I can recommend plenty of designers and even a factory to help you get your project done. Will they charge me? Most designers are professionals who have to make a living too. What if I give them a percentage of my profit? This is going to be really big. Honestly, I'm really busy. Let me know if you want those contacts. Why can't you just help me? I'm trying to give you some guidance, but I can't do what you're asking for. Good luck. I've been working on this for five years. Well, if you only have some handwritten notes after five years, you need more than a little help. What the flip does that mean? I'm a single mother living with my parents. I just don't have the time or money that you do. OMG, why did you wait so long to tell me that? Of course I'll help. Send your stuff to my email. fo at mybreedingchoicesrequireyourservices.com You're a POS butthole. I hope you need something from somebody one day. Honestly, that's not even the first time I've heard this today. I bet her board game idea is like choosing Beggar Monopoly, where whenever you land on a hotel, all you have to do is say, But I'm a single mother, and you don't have to pay any rent. Seeking babysitter $150. In search of babysitter for our three daughters in our home. Must be available from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and not allergic or afraid of animals. We'll watch and care for our four-year-old full-time and our five and ten-year-old after school until 5 p.m. You must have a car and a valid driver's license to pick up our daughter from basketball practice and to and from occasional doctor appointments. $150 a week. <laughs> then down in the comments someone says, Is this a joke? And then someone else replies, It has to be. It's $3 an hour plus gas money to get there. <laughs> 
Every single time I see one of these threads talking about a super, super cheap babysitter job, the top comment is always the exact same, and this time is no different. The only people who would take this job are the people you don't want taking this job. So my mom's job gives her a phone for free to use for work purposes and recently she's got a new one from her job so she could afford to give away or sell her existing one which was an iPhone 6. My uncle who knew this asked her if she had a phone to give away to him since he needed a new phone and couldn't afford one. My mom offered to give him the iPhone 6 and I kid you not he actually turns his nose up at it and goes like only an iPhone 6? I wanted an iPhone 10. I don't want it anymore. Like, uh, okay, sure. We can't even afford an iPhone X on our own, and you expect an iPhone X from us? In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> what an idiot. Instead of getting an iPhone 6, he gets an iPhone 0. On this next post, OP posted a job ad looking for a housekeeper. I have six years of housekeeping experience. I am in need of a job, and I have lots of experience with it as well. I am a mother of four. Then, OP sends this woman $40. Hi Blank, I've already hired someone, but I'll keep you in mind. This is a gift from me to you this holiday season. Heart. Cherish those kiddos, and even though times look tough, you'll find a way through. Happy Thanksgiving. Is there any way you could do me 45? This lady got free money for nothing and was like, nah, I'm gonna need more from you. News article, this CEO gives his employees $2,000 to go on vacation and says they're more productive than ever. And then down in the comments, first, you have to care about your employees. $2,000 vacation? Only Thailand might fit in that budget. Really? You're complaining about a free $2,000 to put towards a vacation? Way to miss the whole point. Lol, missing it completely and happily. So the comments on this Reddit thread are literally hundreds upon hundreds of posts of all the dream vacations people would take with 2,000 free dollars. So this person is out of their flipping mind. What person gets $2,000 and is like, huh, only 2,000? Pathetic. My friend Ted was in line in the supermarket behind Choosing Beggar waiting for his turn. Choosing Beggar has a full large cart with imported items, we aren't in the US, and her total comes to a little over $200. So she goes into her wallet and is shocked she didn't have enough cash on her. The logical thing would be to either cancel the transaction or get only what you can afford then proceed to do the walk of shame. The choosing beggar looks over at Ted and goes, in English, This is really embarrassing, but could you help me out? We can discuss me paying you back when you finish checking out. Now, Ted recognized choosing beggar as an old classmate's ex-wife. She was known to be very mentally unstable, and though he would like to help, he refuses. Choosing Beggar goes on a rant how he was so selfish not to help a lady in need, and that he should be ashamed and threw in a, You have no idea who I am! To which Ted replies, I know exactly who you are, Choosing Beggar. Tell me, what lunatic fills their cart up at a supermarket without knowing how much money is in their wallet and has the gall to ask a stranger to pay for their $200 tab? Choosing Beggar continues to make a fuss to the point she's dragged out of the supermarket and even asks security, Do I still get to keep my groceries? They're already scanned. And then Indigo Pizza adds this comment below. When I worked retail at a local grocery joint, this one old lady came up to my till and after I rang all her items through, which totaled well over $100, she asked me to buy them for her. I told her I couldn't do that and she said, and I quote, Why do you bother being alive if you're not going to be nice? Like, wow. I tell you what old lady, I'll get your groceries if you get my rent. I do freelance IT work for people and that oftentimes requires building a computer. I get a message from someone at the time I thought was a friend asking me to build a computer for him. I help him pick out parts. It came out to a couple thousand. I told him he could pay up front or he could pay an installment to get the computer when he was done. We have a verbal contract that he was going to pay up so I put the machine on a credit card knowing he'd pay. I'd pay off the card and I'd pocket the extra I charge for labor and time. A week later it's set up and he's refusing to pay saying that since I'm not a legit business because I don't have a brick and mortar location, I'm not a real business so he doesn't have to pay. I tell him it's waiting for him to pay, if not I'd sell it to someone else. 
A couple hours later, police cars show up and they intend to arrest me for stolen property. I explained the situation, sat them down, and showed them my chat logs with the customer while I offered them coffee. Apparently, he was cited for misuse of 911. I ended up parting out the system to recoup the costs. Then someone asks, how did it go down when the cops first got there? Details. OP replies, I answered the door and the cops put me in cuffs saying I was under arrest for stolen property. They went to confiscate the machine and I pushed the issue and said the evidence was on my phone. I let them go through my phone, we sat down, they uncuffed me and I made some coffee for them while they sifted through my stuff. They could see me from the room they were in. They apologized for the misunderstanding and left. Man, it's crazy how close that choosing beggars plan came to actually working. So this guy called up the cops and was like, hey, that guy's got my computer. And the cops are like, yeah, okay, that checks out. That was r slash choosing beggars. And if you like this content, be sure to like this video because it really helps my channel grow and gives it a boost in the algorithm.